the genius of apartheid was convincing people who were the overwhelming majority to turn on each other. Apartheid is what is was, is what it was. You separate people into groups and make them hate one another so you can run them all. At the time, black South Africans outnumbered white South Africans nearly five to one, yet we were divided into different tribes with different languages. Zulu, Xosa, Swana, Soto, Wenda, Ndebele, Tsonga, Pedi, and more. Long before apartheid, 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 before apartheid existed, these tribal factions clashed and warred with one another. Then white rule used that animosity to divide and conquer. All non-whites were systematically classified into various into into various groups and subgroups. Then these groups were given differing levels of rights of rights and privileges in order to keep them at odds. Perhaps the starkest of these divisions was between South Africa's two dominant groups, the Zulu and the Xhosa. The Zulu man is known as the warrior. He is proud. He puts his head down and fights. When the colonial armies invited, the Zulu charged into battle with nothing but spears and shields against men with guns. The Zulu would, would, were slaughtered by the thousand, but they never stopped fighting. The Xhosa, on the other hand, pride themselves on being the thinkers. Thinkers. My mother is Xhosa. Nelson Mandela was Xhosa. The Xhosa waged the long war against the white man as well. But after experience, experience, experiencing the futility of battle, battle against a better armed foe, many Xhosa chiefs took a more nimble approach. These white people are here, whether we like it or not, they said. Let's see what tools they possess that can be useful to us. Instead of being resistant to English, let's learn English. We'll understand what the white man is saying and we can force him to negotiate with us. The Zulu went to war with the white man. The Xhosa played chess with the white man. For a long time, neither was particularly successful, and each blamed the other for the problem neither had created. Bitterness festered. For the cats, those feelings were held in check by common enemy. Then, apartheid fell. Mandela walked free, and black South Africa went to war with itself. Particularly, 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 oh, very, very hard word for me. Particularly, 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 
particularly good. Successful. 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 Neither, 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 neither. Neither. Neither.